Thanks to a collector of vintage snow cats, a valued piece of our own Channel 8 history will soon be restored and running again. It's the original Tucker snow cat that carried the WMTW engineers up Mount Washington to our transmitter site in the early 1950s. Steve Minnick traveled to Haverhill, Massachusetts to meet the man who rescued the old cat from a main junkyard. What year is this? 1953, Tucker snow cat. Yep, very rare, Mount Washington Tucker. Brought it home, it started up and ran and drove. It's not much to look at now. This is actually how it was. This is exactly, it had one bullet hole that I've already pounded out. Just an old beat up shell. But some seven decades later, the history of this yeah, rare Tucker snowcat is still clearly stenciled so on both sides. Mount Washington Tucker. Vintage photos from its 1950s heyday ascending Mount Washington about all the motivation yeah, Brian Damaris needs to get her running again. Full cab. My plan is to get it mechanically perfect so it, it's you know going to be a good runner and try to preserve the history with it. Took me 10 years. An avid collector of virtually anything Tucker. I was always fascinated by the snowcat groomers, particularly the Tuckers. I just thought it would be cool to be a, a groomer. They're actually powered by a British Ford Anglia motor. Over the years, from inside his workshop in Haverhill, Massachusetts, we got all the, the missing pontoons. He's already brought back to life a museum's worth of historic groomers. How confident are you that it will look like this? Well, it'll, it'll, it'll resemble that. It was 2015 when Brian came across this former Channel 8 Tucker buried under snow in a junkyard in Oxford, Maine. At first planning to simply use it for parts, but as word spread of his discovery, he realized he'd uncovered a gem. And then I got get some pictures on social media of uh, it in its heyday up on top of the mountain and it kept coming up and a friend would send it and I'm like, wait, wait a minute. I started to dig a little bit. I'm like, oh, this thing's kind of cool. And there's a lot of history about it. I'm like, maybe I should keep this. We're fitting it back up. Keep it and rebuild it. Turns out all that history includes an array of chapters beyond its days of ferrying the Channel 8 engineers up the mountain. He found that later it belonged to New Hampshire's Wildcat Ski Area, a Bethel logging operation. Then, with its tracks interchanged with tires, a junkyard haul it all. Any cat that has a story to it that's kind of historic uh, just, just tends to be a better snow cat to own, and they're more fun to work on knowing that you're preserving some of the history. Somehow, through all of this snow cat's enduring history, there remains that indelible link to Channel 8 and Mount Washington. It might take him the better part of five years, he says. But Brian vows one day this rare Tucker snowcat will again make that same arduous climb to the top as it did so many times for Channel 8 in the 1950s. We should be able to clean up some of it, put the missing body on it, and really I want to get the thing back up to the summit for another photo shoot to put with the rest of the pictures. Brian has also renamed the cat in honor of former Channel 8 engineer Marty Angstrom, who passed away earlier this month. In tribute to Marty on the mountain, it will be known as Marty.